Here's how to get perfect Twixter. First of all, download Flow Frames. The link is in the description below. Once installed, make sure you know where it's located when you open it up. Next, you want to open up Premiere Pro and choose your clip. So this is my clip right over here. This is the absolute raw clip. And what you want to do is cut it down so that there are no repeated frames. So make a cut every time it moves. So I'm just going to move ahead. So I'm going to make a cut there. One, two. A cut right over there one two another one two one two three and what you want to do is just cut them all down to one frame like so i've already done it so i can just get rid of this each frame is a moving frame you can see there are no still frames in between if you want to you can export this specific segment by just clicking i on your keyboard so if i click i on my keyboard and then head towards the end and then click O. Don't go right to the end, just go one keyframe back and then press O, otherwise it's going to create a black frame. Once done, just export the clip. I'm just gonna put frames at the end so I know that these are the raw frames. These will be my export settings in case you want to copy. I like using CBR and a target bit rate of eight. Next, you want to open up flow frames. If you've installed it for the first time, you might have to wait a while, so just give it five to 10 minutes. But once it says ready underneath the status, you just want to drag and drop the clip onto flow frames, just anywhere, it doesn't matter. And this is how we make it smooth. So I would leave the interpolation AR as it is but if you do have an option for Rive CUDA then do so you can leave the input video but if you want to you can pick the output directory this is where it will export the final result so if you do want to change it just click on the browse button next to it now output FPS and speed is what we need to change leave the frame rate as it is so mine is 24 leave that you want to change this part where it says times two the higher number you pick the smoother it will be but also the longer it will take to export I'm going to go for times 10 which will be the smoothest option you can leave it at normal speed but if you want to you can select the eight times slow-mo this is like twixtering it before actually applying the twixter effect but i'm going to add twixter anyway so there's no point i'm going to leave it at normal speed leave the ai model as it is and the output mode as well head over to the quick settings tab and just disable the fix scene changes so usually it will be on just turn it off and when you're fine with your settings just click on the interpolate button down below and just wait it shouldn't take too long if you have less frames if you have a low-end pc it will struggle a little but if you have a high-end pc you should be fine it'll only take a few minutes mine is done so what we're going to do is open up Premiere Pro and I'm just going to import the new clip. You can see that the clip is very short so what you need to do is right click, head over to speed and duration and you want to change the speed to 10 because what we did originally was times 10 the amount of frames so what we're doing is reversing it now. Once you hit ok you can see that it's been extended, play it back and you'll see how smooth it is. Now we need to add the Twixter effect. If you don't have Twixter you can just use the built-in time remapping in Premiere Pro. Now before you add the Twixter Pro effect onto a clip you want to nest it so make sure there are no effects, no Twixter, nothing. Nest it first and and then add Twixter Pro. Now you can do whatever you want. So I'm just going to select my settings. I'm going to put the speed out 300 at the beginning, 5, 10, 15, 20, and then I'm going to set it to 5. Open up the graph and just pull the handle all the way to the left. Pretty good result. Very smooth and there is very little warp. Now there are some issues that you may run into. First of all, your clip may be too short. So let's say I want to extend this clip, but I can't because the nested sequence is too short. Just open up the nested sequence, right click over here, head over to new item and black video. Click on OK and then just drag the black video next to the clip and extend it as long as you want it to be. Once you head back to your main sequence, you'll be able to extend the nested clip. Thank you for watching. Peace.